This is the origin story of Titanic Boy. He was created when the Titanic hit the iceberg. He was in the boiler room working as a fireman. When the Titanic hit, he fell into a boiler and started to burn like a barbecue on a stick and he started dying. Then the cold, cold water came in. The DNA from the coal and the water gave into his pores and he became to shoot fire out of one hand and ice cold water out of the other one. And he could shoot like fire out of one foot and ice cold water from the other so he could fly like that. He pretty much can help you at a picnic with some water or help start a campfire, but people who are robbing banks, he just walks up to them and says, what's up, I'm Titanic Boy, and then punches them in the face and they have a burn scar. And they say, curse you, Titanic Boy. He goes to school, but he gets in trouble a lot for punching people and burning them because he, he's trying to mark my cows for the bad people and the good. <laughs> Giving them tags. He doesn't really do that, it's just, when people get on his nerves, he just forms like a ice, like a snowball in his hand, just throws it at their head in the middle of class. <laughs> my name is Luke, and I am Titanic Boy. It's fed by the Hasbani River in Lebanon and by the Banias in Syria. That I have no idea. It's player three. <laughs> River Jordan? Yeah, I knew that, because I've read it in the Bible. A lot of categories, player three. Let's Take go a with selection. science adjective. I used to think of myself as a young kind of person who has no purpose, because I had no specific interest. I was just blah out there. But now since I have found an interest for myself as the Titanic, the Titanic has changed my life exponentially. So now I represent myself as being a future American success story, hopefully. I was going from having Fs to having hundreds plus. It gave me a purpose to do research and make sure I study. This year I had a thing at school. It's a poster of the Titanic representing 101 years and I had permission from the principal and from an after school teacher to do it and I was proud to be able to do it. But a lot of the posters got vandalized from students who just hate me and hate the Titanic. Hi, I'm Edward John Smith. I am most known as the captain of the Titanic. I was born January 27, 1850. I, I attended a Turner British Schools till I was 17. Then when I was 17, I left for Liverpool, England in my half-brother's footsteps to become a ship captain. I started out- A lot of people will call me Titanic Boy. All the girls usually come up to me and say, Titanic Boy! Every time I walk in and I'm like, okay, and then everybody just starts laughing at me. They call me somebody need, that needs to know the definition of shut up. And they call me red-haired devil. God made me how I need to be, and I am proud of that. And I think I am proud to be how I am. And I do think I need to lose some of this. But I think I'm perfect for God's plan. You don't need plastic surgery or all that stuff. God made you perfect the way he wants you, and that's the way you need to be. That's how I think about it. So how I look, I think I've got the most self-esteem as anybody in the world. Today is a celebration for my birthday party, and we're having a lot of relatives come over and a lot of good friends. And uh, it's a history-themed birthday party. And we're even going to have, like, a little trivia um, event, and the winner gets to eat the first piece of cake. Okay. Since, okay. What is the name of the company that built the Titanic? Mama knows that. She knows what we've, I we've, know. we've what seen that. The White Star Line. That is so right. <laughs> Thinking your wish. Yeah, I got one. Okay, say happy birthday to you. Go out your candles.
Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. My hopes <laughs> for this school year are maybe I can not be as prosecuted Happy as badly as I've been before. So I'm afraid that this is going to be a little bit worse, but I'm also having this little tingling inside of saying maybe it's going to be better. But I mean, nobody knows other than God, and he's with me always. Out of the misty north, a stealthy foeman stole. Far from the haunted pole, on the wide sea went he forth. And he met a giant ship as he scoured the sea for toll. It could not reach its goal, crushed in his icy grip of every four, just three. This was his deadly dole. Unseen he called the roll, ah, a cold grave is the sea. Yet the sea is not the end, and life is not the whole. Over each heroic soul shall eternity extend. <laughs>